There are now two types of engines available in PWCs, two-stroke and four-stroke. These names are derived from the number of strokes that the pistons take to complete a cycle. For example, a four-stroke engine takes four piston movements to complete its engine cycle. The piston lowers for the intake stroke, drawing in the air and fuel mixture, raises for the compression stroke, the air-fuel mixture is ignited for the power stroke, forcing the piston down, and finally, raised for the exhaust stroke, forcing the exhaust out of the engine. The cycle then repeats over and over, turning the crankshaft, which is connected to the impeller, which drives the craft forward. A two-stroke engine is designed to accomplish its complete cycle in just two strokes. During its power stroke, the ignited air fuel charge forces the piston down until it reaches an opening on the side of the cylinder called the exhaust port. As the piston continues down, it pressurizes the air and fuel mixture under the piston that was drawn into the crankcase during the previous compression stroke. An intake transfer port is exposed, allowing the pressurized air and fuel into the cylinder. Finally, as the crankshaft continues to turn, the piston rises, closing off the intake and exhaust ports and compressing the air fuel charge inside the cylinder. The rising piston also sucks in the next air fuel charge under it into the crankcase from the carburetors. The compressed charge is ignited by the spark plug repeating the cycle. The biggest advantages of two-stroke engines are lightweight and simplicity in parts. The engine itself weighs significantly less than a four-stroke of equal power output, and there are anywhere from 30 to 50 percent fewer moving parts in a two-stroke engine compared to a four-stroke. It is also much easier to clear out a two-stroke engine that has been swamped with water. The biggest disadvantages are increased fuel consumption and elevated hydrocarbon emissions from its exhaust compared to a four-stroke. Because a two-stroke has its intake and exhaust open at the same time, some of the fresh air fuel charge passes through the cylinder and out the exhaust port without ever being burned. Because of this and other factors, two-stroke engines have higher unburned hydrocarbon output in their exhaust than comparable four-strokes. There are significant exceptions to this, particularly with engines that use direct injection technology or catalytic converters to obtain low and even ultra-low emission for their two-stroke watercraft. Late model PWCs in general are significantly cleaner burning and quieter than their predecessors. The engine oil of a two-stroke engine can be administered by one of two methods. The first method is oil injection, where the oil is drawn from a separate oil reservoir and pumped into the intake tract of the engine in predetermined amounts. The second method is by premix, which is to physically mix the oil into the gasoline previous to its being poured into the gas tank. The big plus for premix is that it is as reliable as you are, meaning that if you remember to put the oil in the gas in the proper ratio, it will make it into your engine. The strong point for injection is convenience. Just keep your reservoir topped off with oil and the ski takes it from there. The downside is that oil injection pumps have been known to fail, and when they do, they do it without warning and the results are catastrophic for your engine. It's interesting to note that all of the major manufacturers have committed the lion's share of their attention as of late to four-stroke engines, and for good reason. They are inherently clean burning from an emissions standpoint. They have significantly higher fuel efficiency. There isn't any oil to add to the fuel, so that's one less thing to worry about. And they're quiet, which helps keep the neighbors happy. There are two notable drawbacks. Increased weight by about 50 to 90 pounds, and four strokes are much more involved to get cleared out if internally swamped with water. From an overall performance standpoint in runabouts, four stroke watercraft can be at least as quick and fast as two strokes, even with their increased weight due to their superior torque output. There are a few areas in the U.S. where four stroke PWCs are allowed, but two stroke machines are not. So check with the local authorities of the areas in which you intend to ride for possible restrictions. Be sure to take this into consideration when you make your selection.